So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our next contest. Atanas Bocheloff from Bulgaria takes on James Lamary from France. And I'm joined by Kyokushin legend, Francisco Filo. Francisco, welcome to the commentary table. And what an evening it is, our 20th event, five years since our first century and a full arena here in the Palace of Sport and Culture in Varna, Bulgaria. You know, you've been around the world, you've fought on different huge events. Before the fight starts, just give us your thoughts on, on oh, Senshi. Wow, Senshi is a great event and I'm looking forward for this fight because I think the Bulgarian guy is, is really good in shape and he's gonna maybe go, I don't know, I guess it's gonna be a KO in this fight. <laughs> okay, so this may be our first KO of the evening. And like you say, uh, uh, Francisco, the, the Bulgarian and Atanas Bozhilov, who is a Senshi veteran, 17 wins and one loss on in the Senshi ring. And although he's 38 years of old, he looks in fantastic shape. Exactly. And with the, his experience, so probably it's gonna be a good show. Yep, he's, he's uh, the Senshi European champion at under 75 kilograms. He was the Waco Pro World Champion in 2019. He's a European kickboxing champion. He, he has numerous titles under his belt. However, the Frenchman, Le Marie, is also, he's a French uh, Muay Thai champion. He's got various European championship belts. So it, he isn't a mug, um, but he, at 33 years of age, he, start, he only started training kickboxing 11 years ago at the age of 22, which is relatively late, I would say. Right, but you know, fight is a fight. So anything can happen. We have to be really pay good attention. <laughs> anything can happen anytime. Yeah, and actually, Although Boshilov, confident and very composed, the Frenchman, oh, that was, a, that was a lovely left hand there from Boshilov. Boshilov's definitely got the power, but the Frenchman doesn't seem to be lacking in confidence. Right. And the problem Ooh, is another lovely softball. Softball is really, really yeah. difficult to find. Yeah, his left hand is... Very powerful. Yeah, yeah. There's that. It's the straight left every time landing yes. again and again. But you see, and he's Ooh. throwing it just to the face. Once if he throws to the body, and then he's going to be open for the face. So I guess it would be a good way to knock. And him his out. defense, his defense is great as well. You watch when uh, when um, Le Marie throws now he a did, kick. Yeah, he did a bad shot now. Oh. Yeah, exactly. You read it. Uh, yeah. You read it, Francisco. <laughs> oh. no doubt. And that wasn't a fully committed tape, but it sent the Frenchman to the canvas. Very comfortable check there of that low kick. Yeah, see? Yeah, he's going to the body now. Again. Yeah. So when he throw two, and then it's going to be trouble. <laughs> yeah, one down and one up. Wow, he's growing in confidence, is Bocelov. Yeah. And he feels at home here. He's fought so many times on the Senshi, in the Senshi ring. Um, James Lemarie from France making his debut. You can hear that. You can hear the power from here. Yeah. But as they go back to their corners, Francisco, Boshilov is blowing. I'm wondering if his condition is going to be able to keep up this pace for the whole three rounds. And I'm not underestimating what he's got in the tank. But the way he's breathing right now, I think he's getting back. He's getting back. And the French guy, actually, he impressed me. He, he could took. He could took many shots. Yes. Yeah, well, I think... Um, Everyone on the fight card, when they come to Senshi, you know, there's winning and there's losing, but the way you fight and your character is what determines if you get invited back. And we, we, wanna, we want to see new superstars born, new legends created, but the true winners we want are the audience, the people watching the fights. And that's what we want with these matchups is great fights. Great fights, exactly. 
yeah. So, so the see, second the round, yeah. He's not respecting his punch, his kicking. He's starting the fight. The French is, is tough. Yeah, he's coming forward. <laughs> he hasn't been put off. Uh, you know, if someone's got real power, you, you, don't, com you don't commit 100% with your techniques for fear of being countered. Oh, oh, straight left there. Now, I'm not sure that was a knockdown. That was more uh, off balance. So. Yes. Now there's... I'd like to see some combinations. Exactly. I was just thinking about this right now. So... Start with punch and finish with kick. Exactly. I was talking to Andy Sauer earlier. You know the Dutch style of... Of boom, 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 and always finish, finish with that low kick. Yes. There's those body shots you were talking about, Francisco. They exchange kicks. But they're single shots they're throwing. That was a nice body kick there from the Frenchman. So it appears, I mean, Boshilov's got the power here. Right. But I don't know whether he's pacing himself because of his condition or if he's feeling the pace. Well, but I'd like, it's difficult to say, but uh, for me, he won the first round. I don't know if this is going to make any difference for him. And then now he's trying just to hold it. No, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see anybody get comfortable and then just ride the fight out. Um, but it's interesting. It's, it's, it's a big in risk if he does that. Yeah. yeah. And it's interesting if you see someone who's got the, the power to be on the back foot. You see here he could turn, he could circle and push the Frenchman over into that neutral corner. Yeah, but that's what he, he was doing in the first round, but now he, he stopped it. So a little low, low blow there. We've got 30 seconds left of this second round. Um, and that was a good combo. And that's what, it, yeah, and he finished with that low kick. That's a strong teep when he throws it. Yeah. Now his left straight has been his most effective technique. Wow. So, man, I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to hear what his corner are, are uh, telling him. <laughs> and um, now the first round, it has to be a 10-9 to Boshilov. Yes, I agree. The second round there, Ooh. the early stages of that round, Boshilov threw um, a lovely left hand. He probably did the more damage, although in the judge's eyes, he may have been on the back foot. So... Yeah, and the French going forward all the time, most yeah, of the, the time. Yeah, the Frenchman was more aggressive, I would say, but... Uh, I've got to give, I, I'll still give that second round to the blue corner. Yes, the technique's more effective, right? But don't leave it to the judges. Exactly. Um, final round. So third and final round here. Nice. Bulgaria versus France. And we know who the home crowd are going to want to win. So... Boshilov. The French guy is doing really good. He always starts with the right, right kick. Right kick is really good when he fights softball guy. Yeah, and he's kicking the he's kicking the arms. Yes. Which is an underestimated technique. If, you, if you're if you're banging your shin against somebody's forearms oh, for a couple of minutes, you know it's going to affect their defense. Yeah, your legs your legs are much stronger than their arms. So yeah. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Now here we go. Boshilov there. He's got uh, the Frenchman up against the ropes. But he, he, he doesn't seem to have the power that he had in the early part of the fight. Ah, there we go. That's that straight left once again. A couple of little right hooks. But the good thing about the French is that he doesn't stay still. He he's keep moving all the time. So yeah. then when the, the hits come, it's not 
And just must, must be careful when he go forward yeah. and get the punch. There's that kick See, again. He used a lot of right. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Now, ni neither of them working off setting up uh, a power technique with a jab or a fake. You know, most of the big shots. Huh? Now the Frenchman's coming back strong. Like you say, he hasn't been phased for all for the whole of this fight. Although Bochelov had those lovely right, hand, uh, sorry, left straights, um, it hasn't made the the Frenchman apprehensive in coming forward. Yeah. But early on in the fight, as you said, Francisco, but. You said Bochelov should go to the body, and he did. Yeah. But he hasn't followed it up, has he? But the thing is that the French guy is very tough as well. So it makes it more difficult for Bochelov. Well, Bosch. missed with that Superman he did, he punch. Good. Bochelov did good. He did what he was supposed to do, but the French guy is strong, tough. See, he's getting, but he's going forward. <laughs> yeah. So we've got 20 seconds now left of this third and final round. Yeah. I'd love to see Bocheloff just give it 100% now. He owes it to Senchi. I think he heard you. <laughs> there we go, 10 yeah, seconds yeah. left. Just, now, yes. you see, yeah. you never want to finish a fight with anything left in the no, tank, yeah. do you? Exactly, yeah. Wow. Nice. Listen to the it. crowd. They <laughs> appreciate that. The Frenchman raises his arms. He did a good job. The what French a fantastic contest. Yes, and, you have, and you have to give the Frenchman credit. Yeah. He kept coming forward. He was in the fight right up until the final bell. And he's fighting a Senshi veteran. That's Bocheloff's 19th fight here in the Century Ring. So under the lights, cameras and a huge crowd going worldwide on TV, that pressure can affect you. But Bocheloff's going to be comfortable coming back to his home ring. But we go to the judges. But the thing of the crown, they always want KO. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. But of course, this is not, is not, is not ha happen always. Sometimes things uh, you fight a very strong fighter like the french guy so yeah it was really a good match a good match well it's interesting everybody wants to see a rocky story they want to see one guy go down in the first <laughs> round the <laughs> other guy go down in the second <laughs> yeah. round and then the third round an absolute war right. and then maybe the underdog getting uh, getting right. a win you know but uh, this isn't a movie this is real life guys 27 judge two 30 to 27, yeah, they all, and Judge 3, 30 to 27 in favor of the blue corner. Both deserve, both yes. Deserve. Yep, I think that's a fair decision. Yeah. But as you said, uh, Francisco, we have to give the Frenchman credit. Exactly. Uh, because he's fighting uh, at world world class level. He lasted the three rounds. He took yeah. some punishment with those straight lefts. But Bocheloff now. 18 and 1 here in the Senchi ring, and I'm sure he's going to be back, but I'd love to see the Frenchman back as well. Um, James Lemarie gave a great performance here, and the crowd were very appreciative of that fight. So maybe the KO is going to be for the next fight, so <laughs> we keep yes, hoping. <laughs> yes, you reminded me, you said that was going to be a KO in that yeah. fight, and actually, I think if Bocheloff, he could have got the KO, but he needs to work on, rather than just throwing those single big shots, setting something up and finishing a combination with a power shot. Yes, what he did at the end, at the end he was doing that. Yep, yeah, right in the last 10, 20 seconds, yeah. yeah. If he did that at the beginning, for sure. Thank uh, you very much. But it was good.